What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today is a fun day. Uh, as you know, I do serve tables at a restaurant. Um, and my buddy Jack has been bugging me about taking him fishing for a long time. Not bugging me, just asking me to take him. And you know, I'm not... I've just been pretty busy, so I haven't had time to be like, yeah man, let's go. Well, today is the day that I'm gonna take Jack fishing. Um, Blake, who's been in a couple of videos, uh, is also going to be going with us, and we're gonna be going fishing, doing some walking, waiting. Probably gonna teach him how to high stick and do a little bit of indicator fishing as well. Uh, we will see how that goes. But, you know, we just got a short little bit of time today, but I'm gonna kinda just like let the GoPro roll while I teach him how to fish, and hopefully there's some information there that it will be useful for everybody. Um, just kind of in how I teach people from like a one-on-one -on -one basis. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, you know, if you have any questions or anything, any other topics that you'd like me to cover, leave a comment below. Um, if you really enjoy the content and are here and have been here for a while, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button, uh, the like button as well. That's just a really easy, simple way to support the channel and support what I'm doing. But we're gonna get after it. And uh, yeah, let's go. So this is Jack. Jack, let's catch some fish. Let's, let's learn how to freaking fly fish, huh? River fishing 101. Okay. There's like four different currents going on right here. Yeah. So like you got a slow water coming off that rock up there. You got quick water coming off just the edge of that. And you got a little bit slower water on that far side. Okay. And there's big boulders throughout this. So behind each of those boulders is a current break where fish will sit and hop out to eat food. Okay. So. We're gonna start with the indicator rig just cause this is like basically more effective to run an indicator because you can actually get across it and it's crazy deep. So we can't really wait out and we don't want to spook these fish. So we're running, so it's a Pat's rubber legs and then a little caddis pattern below it. How do you feel about casting? Do you feel like you can cast kind of far or? Uh, I can, not far, but. Okay. So the way that I always fish this is like, for fish big rivers, is I don't ever really overhand cast, like you see in like river runs through it. Right. I always have my stuff water loading below me, and then I'll just turn and throw it out there like that. And so you make your cast, and this is where like the term mending it comes from. So it's basically just, you get your stuff out there, right? See how my indicator is going faster than my line? Yeah. If it were to keep doing that, what would happen is it'll start dragging that bobber. You wanna slowly move your line and it's called mending to get it to essentially get out of its own way so it doesn't pull your shit too fast. And, and any time it goes under, I just set the hook. There's, these fish are gonna be all throughout, like the head of the run that they're in is probably the better part of the run, yeah. but there's still fish in all of this. I've caught fish on that far side. I've caught fish literally everywhere in this run, but I'll have you hop in and I'll kind of just give you some pointers. You can hop on the front of this rock. Just try not to roll your ankle. And so basically you always want to start the closest part of the run to you and then work your way to the farthest part. But do you see how this line's going faster than the indicator? Uh -huh. Oh man, so I lift my rod tip, front of quick flick of the wrist. That was a horrible mend. I'll do it one more time. Still a bad mend because my line sunk at the top of it. There you go. So now it's turned over. Now I'm floating through some yummy water and I'll just follow it down. Looks good, looks good. And then at the bottom of the cast, we always just let it swing. So like, that means you just don't do anything. See how it's swinging over this way? Uh -huh. That lines it up to go forward, and they can just go straight forward. And that's how you, it's just a really efficient way to work through all this water. So when you come back to do that roll cast, like you're coming yeah. here and you're stopping like right here, yeah. and trying to turn it all over right there, bring it out of here. All the way, all the way back, and then nice point. Uh -huh. And that way you get more energy. And then, then when you're here, I have my rod tip up, so the flies are floating and a slow pull, point. And if you give it a nice hard point, you can get it out a little bit further. And then right when that lands, you'll see typically like, uh, I don't like where that's at. I'm gonna throw a quick mend in. And then you're following it down. Keep the rod tip over the indicator basically at all times. Ooh. Stops like that. You set the hook downstream always. Here, I'm gonna hand this to you. One more time. So you're kind of, you're going like this yeah, and then like, kind of like soft in it. Just a big hard loop. There you go. You got a heavy rig. There you go. Better. Go back down. I want you to get a little farther out this time. So focus more on going out instead of up. And if you feel like it's not tight, yeah, perfect. Always get it tight down there and then you can go anywhere you want up front. Same spot, back down. <laughs> there you go, and now nice hard point and finish it like out that way. There you go, better. 
Yeah, and it's just like it's just a matter of kind of working your way out, getting comfortable with that cast. That's a fish. There you oh, go. Oh yeah. Want to learn how to fight it? Sure. Here, take this. Show me. Okay. Oops. Oops, sorry, dude. Let me pull it out of your hand. Okay. Keep nice, good tension on him. Uh -huh. More tension. You want that rod bent and now reel on this. Yeah. Reel, reel. Keep it tighter. Keep it tighter. Keep it tighter. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep that rod tip high. Yeah, there you go. A little more, a little more, a little more. There you go, buddy. A little tighter. There you go. Perfect, dude. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, but keep your hand off the reel when you're not reeling. Okay. Because that way, I'm going to take it net. Oh, is it attached to you? It's attached to you. That's fine. So now he's going up. Upward. Yeah, yeah. So you're good. Yeah, yeah. Just keep finding him. You just want to keep good tension on him the whole time. Exactly, dude. Just like that. Nice, good tension. Get a good bend in that rod. He's not huge, but it's a good little uh, first yeah. first lower trucky fish. Okay. Yeah. Nice, dude. Perfect. Well done. Okay. So, oh, he's wrapped. Oh, That's sure. why he's fighting so hard. Here. He's a little guy, so we can actually horse him pretty good. Let me bring me the line. Perfect, dude. And then, see? Little baby. Little baby. I think it actually might be a cutthroat. Gorgeous, right? Little baby fish. Must eat the pats, because I hooked him in the tail with the that. But... There you go. Nice dude. So keep in mind that there's gonna be there's fish in this, like in close. So if we get too high too quick, they'll be like they'll Yeah, they'll spook, exactly. A little bit more. There you go. Okay, now from down there, hard snap up river. Perfect. Great cast. Okay, now follow it down. Don't mend yet. Don't mend. Mend upstream now. Perfect. Now follow it down. Rod tip following the indicator at all times. There you go. There you go. Don't be surprised when that stops. Perfect, dude. Now let it swing, let that line slowly out. Like try and land it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and land it in the fist, fast water right in front of you. But it's just farther up, exactly. There you go. Oh, we'll go back real quick. Do it one more time, but land a little bit more to the right. Oh, pull it out again. <laughs> you go point a little harder to the right. There you go, there you go, money. Now strip some line in from below your hand. There you go, have it always pinched underneath your finger and be it perfect right there. Now, throw a little bitty mend. Set, hard. See that, that, you'll just pull that right out of that fish's mouth by not setting like that. So when it goes under, when it goes under, just pop. Hard pop, right? If it, yeah, exactly. All right, Jack just hooked up into a nice fish. Real, real, real. Tighter, tighter, tighter. Let me see that in that big daddy. Thanks, dude. Yeah, Jack. Right at the, that's a big brown, dude. I think it's a, I think, oh, no! no! <laughs> that just, that just happens sometimes though. That was, that, was that was a great fish, dude, nice. I said the hook the wrong way too. Yeah, he said the hook, everything you did was wrong. <laughs> but it still happened. Ginormous. That's a fish, right tip up, oh, no! Let me see that. That was definitely a fish. You see that it? You felt him, pretty, right? Yeah. Your indicator went whap, 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 whap. He won't eat again. <laughs> you blew it! Oh, man! That seam over there is so good. Blake. Snuff? Nice and easy. Yeah, it's funny. Come up a little, a little further. There you go. High stick. A little faster, a little faster. If it's not that fast. Just like that. Perfect. Set. Fish. Nice fish, too. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> right back in. There you go. Nice, dude. There you go, Jack. Right tip up. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Doubled up! Put your hand wet when you. Oh, it's a little brownie. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Check on a little brown on the high sticking rig. Should we send him out of here? Let's do it. Can we kiss pretty... him or what? Nah, not, <laughs> not my first one this year. <laughs> Let it follow down, stack some line. Stack, 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 stack. 
Stack, 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 stack. There you go. Perfect. Let's trip this. Nice hard push. There you go, buddy. Now you're kind of feeling it. Yeah, really. Big cool. mend. Oh, set, that, that, that's a fish. Right chip up. Nice, buddy. Strip, 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 line in. Yep, strip, strip, strip. There you go, nice, dude. There, you go. <laughs> there he is, Jackie baby. Is this there a magnet or what is this? Yeah. Woo! No megas yet, which is good because this net can only net a 12 inch fish. It's a fish, so it's a good one. Better than the last one, I think. Yeah, lift that rod tip up. Yeah, he's a little bit better. Higher, higher, higher. Oh, he's wrapped, that's why. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Okay, now don't reel anymore because it's at the rod tip. Oh. Same one? Nope, rainbow. rainbow. Look how pretty he is, though. They're so good. Same size. Get that thing, dude. Look at it, dude. Under the tail. Later, buddy. Hey, buddy. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to... Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, Toad! Toad! Mega cutthroat trout! Dude, mega stalker! Stalker, baby! Stalker life. No, it's actually a rainbow, but it is 100% a stalker. Ew, he's all messed up in every way possible. Thanks, buddy. He's gross. Oh, are you fishing here now? <laughs> are you fishing here now, Blake? <laughs> yeah, a really good run up there. We're gonna work up to that. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh no, it was okay. Two. Big man downstream, there you go, let it go. When that thing stops, pop it hard. There you go, nice stack. Do it a little earlier next time. Stack? Yeah, that's pretty dang good. There you go, Cole. Nice dude, that's a good fish. Great fish, dude. Nice, bro. Nice, man. Well done. Yeah, keep a good tension on. Harder, more tension, more tension. Reel with the line. Reel the reel. Reel, reel, reel. Faster, faster, faster. Get tighter on him. Tighter, tighter, tighter. Good bend in that rod. There you go, right there. So when you're not reeling, hand off the reel. Nice, man. That's the best fish of the day. Oh, really? I didn't hear you. A little more tension, a little, little tighter rod. You want a good bend in that rod. Keep the rod tip a little higher. Yeah. Keep the rod tip a little higher. Get a little higher? Yeah, the rod tip a little higher, like this. I just don't want to spin. No, you're good. You're good. It's a nice rainbow, dude. Yeah. Here it comes. Nice, buddy. Oh, sick bow. Nice, oh, dude. Yeah. Nice fish, man. Woo! What a sick bow. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna let him out of here. Dude, he's probably 17 inches. Really healthy, 17, 16. Super colored up, though. Sexy fish. Sick, buddy. Nice, man. Well done. There you go. Nice fish. Oh, big fish. Holy sh dude. Oh my God. That was so big. All right, you guys. That is going to conclude our day. I actually had to take off a little bit early, um, but Jack and Blake and Cole are all down there fishing still. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, Jack had a great time. We all had a great time. I'm stoked we were able to catch some fish. I lost one really nice fish. Jack lost a nice fish. Cole landed his nice fish. And at the end of there, as I was leaving, Blake hooked and lost a nice brown too. So, uh, you know, we had the chances. We had shots of decent fish, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a couple 10 to... 13 inch rainbows keeping you entertained while the while you wait for the big fish to come by but uh but yeah hopefully you guys learned something from that i mean you know i might not be perfect at explaining things but 
I try to, you know, make things and put things in layman terms and just try and make them as straightforward as possible. But this is a, you know, fly fishing is a lifetime sport. It takes a lifetime to learn how to do it properly and how to really, you know, get into it. All we can do is just hang out with our friends, have a good time. And that's really all you can ask for, you know, is a good time hanging out. I'm glad Jack caught some fish. I'm glad Cole caught some fish. You know, and I think we all just had a great time. So, appreciate you guys coming along. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you on the next video. Should be up here pretty soon.